Because when you're young, all you want to do is grow up. All you want is the, what you think is the responsibility of an adult. And responsibility doesn't mean the same. When you're younger, responsibility means being able to go into the global video and rent out an 18. It means being able to buy Judge Dredd over the counter. It means 18 rated games, forbidden fruits. When you're our age, you realise that responsibility is sorting out the direct debit for your council tax, it's making sure your flat has double glazing, it's boring. And when you get to, maybe, your what, kind of late 20s and so on, you kind of forget those brilliant wee things that you just wanted, that you couldn't wait to have. And for some people you can reach back and you can find those, you can find moments or actual items that can take you right back to those times and they can can make you feel better about where you've come to and for me I'm afraid I don't have that because for me the first 18 rated game I was ever allowed to play that was ever given was Wu-Tang Taste the Pain. Are you ready? Right, you're probably all thinking, why, Scott, Scott, why was this the first 18 game you got? And it's simple, because it looked extremely violent. That was it. That was what sold it to me. There was nothing else. I didn't know who Activision were. I didn't even know who the Wu-Tang Clan were for the most part. I just knew this was a violent game, and I owned a PS1, and I wanted it. I wanted, wanted, wanted it. And my loving parents, my lovely mum and dad, must have been, I don't know, drunk or something, because they let me have it. There was no way that I can believe that I thought in the year that Soul Calibur came out of the Dreamcast that this was an acceptable experience. It's not a good looking game, it wasn't at the time and it's certainly not aged well. This is some of the um, the CGI cutscenes, I mean look at that, don't those people almost look like actual people? It sounds bad right, this sounds bad and, and I'm not racist right, but I think the guys who made this game were. I think there's, I think they just don't really, they kind of make, all the folk don't look right. It is, it's a great example of how, as children, we don't realise what, what games are, really. We just play it because, oh, it's violent. It's the same way that if you gave, gave an eight-year-old child Grand Theft Auto for the first time, they, just, they wouldn't do the missions, they would just kill things. They'd just think, this is a game for killing people. And that's kind of how I approached Wu-Tang Taste the Pain. I just thought, this is an 18-rated game, I'm not meant to have it, I want it. And so I got it, like all bad things, I actually got it. Don't mess with big baby Jesus. The voice acting when 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 the cast can be bothered actually doing any is appalling. So you get guys who just like they're doing this amazing finisher move. I say amazing, and halfway through they'll say things like check this out, and it's just exactly like that, as if you were you went to the doctor and you pulled your trousers out and you said doctor can you check this out? There's no there's no sense of action to it. I mean you can have four players on this game. Imagine that. Imagine convincing three of your pals to play it with you. No one I knew had a multi-tap for the PS1, and in fact, no one I knew wanted to play this game with me. There's just so many things wrong with this game, but I looked past so much of them when I was younger just to have that adult experience, just to be, I feel like a big boy, I'm a big boy playing this big boy game. And all you really think is when you play now is thinking, why? Why did I want to grow up and play big boy games when I could have been playing excellent games, I could have been playing Mario on the SNES, I could have been playing a thousand other things. And instead I wanted to be a big boy, and big boys play shit games. I could lie to people and tell them my first 18 rated game was Grand Theft Auto 3. I could do it, I could do it so easily. But I won't, and I never will because Wu-Tang Taste of Pain has a special wee place in my heart. Okay, it's not a good bit, it's probably like the cholesterol bit of my heart, but I suppose it represents the fact that at the tender age of 12 my parents thought I could handle a game that was not just shite, but an 18 rated piece of shit. And that's that's important, I suppose they thought I had the responsibility that I was grown up enough to be able to handle it without going into school the next day and, I don't know, chopping folk up or, I don't know, I don't know what you actually do in Wu-Tang, listen to shit music. But I suppose that's what it represents for me. And everyone has a first, a first you can't change. And I suppose maybe that's why it's a good place to start with, Scott's moments. Because it's a moment I can't change. I'd love to, I'd love to be able to change it, but I can't. It's the same with lots of moments in life. You just have to deal with what you're dealt.